Hello everybody, Jason with Learn Survive. Hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, but more importantly, taking care of one another. I know it's been a while since my last video, but I am one to be out actually doing things to ensure that everything that I need is in place. And I also run a lot of analytics um, from news stories around the world and news stories um, being reported differently through different media outlets uh, worldwide and trying to put together a pattern. And that does take up a lot of time. I'm not one to sit here and produce four or five videos a day that is going to tell you if you do this, this, and this, I'm guaranteeing you you'll survive because there is no guarantees. It's 90% luck in that department or shilling products that uh, a company wants me to shill because I've got a big fan base. That's something I would never do, even if I had the fan base to do that. If I don't use something, I'm not going to recommend it to anybody. If I don't use it, I don't trust it for myself and my family. I'm not going to recommend it to you. So in this video, I want to talk about ammo price increases. Yes, there is an ammo price increase coming, and I'm sure we all expected that, but how bad is it going to be, and is going to be the question, is what we're being told from the ammo manufacturers a reality or just a farce? So let's talk about this. So Vista Outdoors notified its retailers that there would be an ammo increase uh, the first of the year. And they broke down their increases like this. Shot shells and uh, 22 uh, Magnum and rifle rounds will have a 1-2-7% increase. Handgun rounds, 22 short and 22 long rifles, 1-5% uh, to increase. And not only did they alert of ammo increases, they also alerted to component increases. Primers, a 5% increase, and gunpowder, a 10% increase. Now you have to ask yourself, why is this increase coming? Is it just inflation? Well, no, it's not just inflation. It's the fact that we've got two countries suckling at Uncle Sam's tit because one didn't have a robust military industrial complex. The other one does, but sends the majority of their stuff off to other countries for civilian sales to keep their taxes on their people down. There's, if anything happens, and they knew, they knew it would happen. They knew it would come to this, that they could come and, Uncle Sam, give us, please, we need, and we'll do it like idiots. You take that, you take the fact that the United States military is going to a new platform and totally new round, and uh, they're not producing the 556 anymore. They dangle fat contracts to ammo manufacturers that they take, which cuts back on ammo available to civilians. And, you know, it, it is what it is. So is that uh, prior mentioned increase realistic yes it's realistic for a very short period of time I have a friend that is a boutique ammo manufacturer he makes rounds for obscure and obsolete firearms that are still used for hunting and competition shooting he produces anywhere from 50 to 100 year um, when he gets up into the hundred thousand rounds a year that is usually custom ordered uh, from a shop or from a competition shooter that wants a case of you know whatever odd caliber it is he shoots or uh, big hunting guide companies that issue uh, firearms in these rounds like in Alaska and uh, other places like that, and he's being told that these initial hikes are about correct, but by spring, maybe early summer, we're going to see more likely and anywhere from 30 to 50 percent hike in ammo prices over current prices today. So 
so what to do and what to expect will be covered in my next video. Hope you guys stay safe, take care of yourself. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope it is full of love and joy and great times with your family. Cheers.